oil. Dropped into a solution that causes it to neither mix nor settle at the top or bottom, but instead retain its spherical drop shape in the center. As it slowly oscillates, it eventually settles there, suspended in time and space. Why does this occur? In this video, we will explore the concepts of neutral buoyancy and surface tension and show you. Buoyancy is the force that a fluid exerts on an object causing it to float. It is a property of the comparative density between the fluid and the object and can create upwards, downwards, or even neutrally buoyant forces. The buoyancy equation relates the buoyant force to the volume of the object times the difference between the density of the object and the density of the fluid times the acceleration due to Earth's gravity. To study this, we set up a system using water layered with 95% ethanol. Using oil with an approximate volume of 1.15 times 10 to the negative eighth meters cube and a density of 917 kilograms per meter cube, we were able to suspend droplets between the water and ethanol, which have densities of 799.5 kilograms per meter cube and 1,000 kilograms per meter cube. In our calculations, we used a g-value of 9.81 meters per second squared. Due to the Marangoni effect, the oil droplet of these properties will bounce up and down in the alcohol water gradient. The higher surface tension and buoyancy of the water, as compared to the alcohol, causes the oil droplet to be repelled upwards before being pulled back down by the force of gravity and ethanol buoyancy. As the oil moves up and down, the differences in surface tension decrease as the motion of the oil causes the alcohol and water to mix. Finally, the oil comes to rest in the center where we can visualize the point of gradient between ethanol and water. But why a sphere? In order to understand the relationship between the curvature of the sphere and the surface tension of the sphere, we will use young Laplace's equation, which relates to the pressure difference between inside the sphere and outside the sphere with the surface tension of the sphere times one over the radii of curvature. And in the case of a perfect sphere, both of the radii are equal. A perfect example of plateau droplets being used in the modern world is a company called Print-A-Drink. Benjamin Griemel and Philip Hornog, two German robotics engineers, created a company which uses a 3D printing robotic arm to create alcoholic drinks with designs printed in them with oil. With a maximum of 40% alcohol in each drink, the robotic arm adds drops of different oils into each drink, creating all different designs in just one minute, which helps attract customers from all over the world. Though the current applications of neutral buoyancy are limited, who knows what the future holds for this fantastic phenomenon?